Hey folks, Pastor Rocky Branch. Hope you're doing well today. I survived the basketball game last night, although it did get knocked around a few times. We had a lot of fun. Thank you for your kind words back about that little event. Some of the notes that I got were kind of cute. At any rate, I want to ask you a question that's very important today. Is it okay to be angry? You know, everybody at one point or another gets their feathers ruffled, if you will. Is that okay? Is it okay to have that hostility, that anger, that uh, aggravation? Somebody pulls out in front of you in traffic. Someone gets your parking space. Someone gets in front of you in the line in the grocery store or whatever the case may be. Or somebody just rubs you the wrong way because we're all rubbable and we're rubbable the wrong way. Well, being angry is something that's very important. And in the question, is it okay to be angry? The answer is, it depends. It depends on what happens, how you deal with it, and what you do with it after it occurs. As a result of that, the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 26, be angry and sin not. Now, there's nothing wrong with being upset about things, particularly things that you're passionate about. In fact, you should be. I just visited one of my friends today that had lost his wife a few months ago, and he's very lonely. He's a senior adult. I said to him, it's okay for you to be weary. It's okay for you to be tired. In fact, my wife, Janice, her mother, uh, on a Monday will be one year ago that she passed away. And uh, I told my wife, it's okay for you to cry. It's okay for you to feel bad because you can't lose people in your life and not feel uh, touched about it. So that's okay. When something happens that you're passionate about that you can't control or something you can't deal with, it's okay to be upset because that shows that you care about something. However, if I take my anger and I take my position of attitude and I sin, then I'm missing the will of God. You know, Jonah, in the four chapters of Jonah, when he goes to Nineveh and he gets swallowed by the whale, all that stuff, you know, in the fourth chapter, well, in the, or in the four chapters of Jonah, well, in the fourth chapter, when he, uh, he's out on the east side of the city and the gourd, the Lord lets the gourd grow up to give him shade, and then a worm uh, comes up overnight and cuts the gourd down, eats the gourd, and Jonah is so angry. And the Lord asked Jonah in the fourth chapter, does it do you well to be angry? And Jonah said, yes, I'm so angry I could die. And God said, you know, you're missing the point, Jonah. Being angry is one thing. Allowing it to control you is another. I have dealt for 30 years with domestic issues. I've dealt with personality clashes. In fact, counseling is a large part of what I do. And in the process of counseling, you have to deal with people that get angry, people that want their way, people that are stubborn. I mean, all those things. And if we do not have a reasoning spot to come to, if we do not have a place that we can get our wisdom and our strength from, we have nothing because all we can do is revert back to ourselves and we react based on our background, based on what we've been accustomed to. So that's why I have to have the standard of the Word of God. That's why it says in Ephesians 4.26, be angry and sin not. Now, Jesus Christ had to deal with his disciples, and he called those men, uh, not people that normally you would call to do a great world task, as those disciples would end up doing. But what Jesus did is he saw what was in them, not who they were. He saw what they could be. And I want to encourage you today that God is looking in you at what you can be. Not exactly what you are right now, but what you're going to be, depending upon how you deal with stuff. Now, to be angry is one thing, and to let it captivate you and control you is completely another thing. But to let God have His way, what does that mean? That means that I must submit, and a lot of people don't like that word, but it's really a good word. It's to become subordinate, actually. It's a good word. Uh, I am to submit to the Lord Jesus Christ. How come? Well, because he knows everything. He knows the best for me. He knows what it's all about. And depending upon my nature, depending upon who I am, depending upon my passion, well, I can react a lot of different ways. Jonah was very upset, and Jonah uh, actually uh, got what he got because of he was disobedient. I mean, Jonah suffered all the things he suffered because he was wrong. And then when the shade was gone, God was trying to teach him a spiritual lesson. And boy, he got upset. Man, he got upset. So I want to encourage you today to remember that 
It's okay to be passionate about things, and, and well, we should, but not to the point to where sin comes in. When Jesus taught his disciples that were kind of misfits at the start, and he saw what they were going to be, what Jesus did, the Bible says, is that he groaned within himself. Sometimes he would be upset with them, and he would say to them, How long do I have to be with you? But yet Jesus had a calm demeanor at the same time. Now, he, he whipped the money changers in the temple because they were defiling the temple of God. But the disciples that were so hard-headed sometimes, Jesus had patience with them and peace. Why? Because he was presenting a spiritual principle. So let me encourage you today that when that person pulls out in front of you, when that person gets your parking space, when that person is cruel to you, or when that person does something to you that you don't understand, Maybe they don't understand it too, by the way, so keep that in mind. But when things don't go your way and you get ruffled, your feathers get fluffed up, and you have your passion running at an all-time high, let me encourage you to be angry, but not to sin. Just be concerned about it and let God have His way. What does that mean? That means God will work it out. God will do the best for you, with you, and in you, and by you. And he'll show the witness that you need to show by his grace. I promise you, you can win more people, even though you may be angry sometimes, you can win more people if you sin not. Let God have his way. He'll work it out. God bless you. We love you. And goodbye.